don't grovel. If there's one thing I cannot stand is people groveling. Sorry, no. Lord. I don't apologize. Every time I try to talk to someone, it's sorry this and forgive me that and I'm not worthy. What are you doing messing around in Camelot? Well, uh, we, we were dancing, Lord, and... What are you doing now? I'm uh, bursting my eyes, oh, Lord. Well, no, and stop looking up my robe. <laughs> yes, Lord. Right. Arthur, King of the Britons. Your knights have a task to make them an example in these dark times. Oh, great idea, oh Lord, yes! Of course it's a good idea. I'm God, you stupid idiot. <laughs> now, this shall be your quest. Behold, the grail appears projected on the clouds. Arthur, this is the holy grail. Look well, for that is your purpose, Arthur. The quest for the holy grail. But how will I, how will I... Just find the grail, okay? <laughs> Get on with it. These people don't have all night. By God, we, we have a quest. To find the grail. The quail. <laughs> no, the grail. The vessel used at the Last Supper. They had a boat at the Last Supper? Was it sort of a dinner cruise? <laughs> the grail is a cup. God, the Almighty and all-knowing has misplaced a cup. Apparently. Doesn't sound very plausible. If God is all-knowing, he must know where it is. It does seem rather careless. Aren't there other cups he could use? Could we just buy him another one? No! It's a metaphor. We must all search for the grail within us. Somebody swallowed it? Robin, it's a symbol! Oh!